Just roll the intro. Sometimes the world looks perfect. Nothing to rearrange. Sometimes you just get a feeling like you need some kind of change. No matter what. When I opened up the Comic Vault three years ago, I did it with the intent of focusing on customer service and building a community. Because of this, I feel like the Comic Vault boundaries extend beyond the 750 square feet of the store. The first thing you'll notice when approaching the store is our uncluttered window display, which creates an inviting exterior. Our Green Lantern neon is always lit, serving as a beacon to all comic book fans. Upon entering the store, you will immediately be greeted by our friendly staff. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. This lets the customer know that we are here for them first and foremost. The store is very clean and well organized with lots of room to walk around and high ceilings, all designed to create a comfortable atmosphere. Hulk approves. Thanks, Hulk. I personally constructed the shelving systems, hand painted the wall, and constantly updated the decorations. So that truly means a lot. We pride ourselves not only on our comic variety, but also on our dedication to displaying them in an organized and accessible way. You'll see our wall puts each comic front and center, making it easy to read all titles. Our entire east wall is dedicated to mainstream comic books, organized alphabetically from Action Comics to Zorro. At the back of the store, we have our new This Week wall. We designed it this way so customers have to walk through the entire store to get here. This wall is arranged alphabetically with major crossovers at the top shelf and some of last week's books at the bottom. The back of the store also houses our highly revered and often haunted comic vault. Nobody cares I'm dead. It's true. <clears throat> Within these metal walls, you will find the subscriptions for all our members. Our membership service is on a tiered discount where the more you subscribe to, the more you save. This is our non-superhero section where we feature independent comic books, local creators, and of course, zombies. <laughs> Continuing down, we have our graphic novel section as well as older titles above. Having the graphic novels face forward helps you discover books you wouldn't normally find. At this end, we have the kids section. This section is full of age appropriate material so that parents can buy with confidence. <laughs> we created this center island to double the space of the store. It holds toys, manga, and supplies. It also holds the most recent graphic novels. As I said at the beginning, I like to think of the store as a building without borders. I spend a lot of time fundraising for some of my favorite charities, whether it's Briggs for Kids or our annual holiday toy drive. Also, if there's a big old book coming out, I like to have a huge release party with grilling, fruit snacks, and a Jeff John standee. Finally, Chicago isn't just a great city to own a comic book store. It's a great city to be an aspiring artist, writer, or performer. And because of this, I've created two conventions, ZombieCon and WinterCon. These events have been huge successes, so I plan to continue them into the future. So that about rounds out the comic book. But Matt, what about your online video series? Thank you, Mysterious Stranger. I totally forgot about that. I created a video series called New This Week, where we critique the latest books. It's kind of like Siskel and Ebert meets no budget and a flip camera. You know, I truly enjoy running this comic book store, and I will continue to find creative ways to build our community of comic book readers. You know, last year, I never got a chance to finish my motto. So here you go. We do more in 750 square feet than- Oh my God, the mummies are back! Well, you know what they say, mo mummy, mo problems. Oh. Oh.
Boat comic ball. <laughs>